All right. Anyone feels courageous enough to tell me how do I say these things in German? Yeah, Rishabh, go ahead. So before Rishabh starts, so in you know you have sentences like you know Monday onwards till Monday after Monday. Santosh, please mute yourself. Yeah. So you know around two p.m. on Monday at two p.m. Right. So these sentences, you know, you know how often do you you know like those who are working right now, you may be getting meetings, right? You know, like when do you have time? When will you be free? When can we meet? When do you will you send a report, right? So and when someone asks you this question, you don't have to like respond in full sentence. Right? You can just say like you know tomorrow till tomorrow stuff like that. I'm saying so you can communicate German in German, but of course you have to know how to say. You know, like these are very short sentences, but you have to know how to say them. Yes, Rishabh, you can give us the answers if you don't mind. Maybe I would like to try first at least the initial ones. Rishabh said yes. He was the first one to raise his hand. Maybe maybe Rishabh can try the first five and then you can try the last five. Yeah. I would like to try the first one because that's something not to. Yes, yeah, sure. Go. <laughs> okay, go. No ahead. problem. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, Santosh. Rishabh, you don't mind? Thank you. No problem. Okay. Yes, yeah. Santosh, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, Monday onwards should be up Montag. So you know, so right now you are speaking, right? So try to be as clear and as loud as you can be. So if you speak at one x, speak, you know, like okay, speak slowly first of all, and also try to increase your volume because you are practicing. So what, is, right what, is the, what is wrong in my speaking? I do not understand. Because then I can hear you clearly what you are saying. There is nothing okay. wrong. There is nothing wrong when you are practicing. You try. You should try to a little bit louder than usual. Uh, okay. You can speak the way you want. No problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that would be better. <clears throat> Monday onwards up Montag till Monday, Bis Montag after Monday, Nak Montag around 2 p.m. I think that should be yeah, Uber 2 p.m. on Montag on, on Monday is Am Montag. 2 p.m. Yeah, um, zoi p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really say yeah. p.m. in German? No, I think it was p.m. there. I just used it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, anyone else can continue. So we will rush up. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Your answer. Yeah. There were a few mistakes. Two mistakes. We'll correct them. Yeah. Yeah. At 2 p.m. should be um, fiat in uwa. Yeah, that's correct. In the in the night, uh, in their night, in the January, in them, Yanua, in the year 2022, in them, yeah, 2020, in the past, in their Fagangan height, in the future, uh, in their Zukunft. From Monday till Wednesday, uh, from Montag bis Mittwoch, uh, between 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Zwischen half nine und half zehn. Outside working hours. Uh, outside half arbeits Zeiten. Uh, inside this time period, I okay. Inside working hours, yeah. Inner hub, a byte Zeitan. And if I have to use the article as well, should should be there. Okay, yeah, there, right? There. Yeah, 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 yeah there. Uh, what else? What, mm -hmm. During mm -hmm. the course, where in where in course? If you have to use an article, wherein das course? So wherein, uh, which uh, so you mean uh, genitive? Genitive, right? Genitive, so yeah. yeah. This this yeah. Wherein yeah. this course? Courses from oh. Malaysia. This 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 is fine. Courses, you know, because. Uh, you also have to add uh, the sound of s to the to the to the noun right okay, okay. yeah courses wherein this courses okay 
for two hours fewer soy stundan very good so very good santosh and rishav but there were a few mistakes let's talk about this one uh i think not mistake but i don't know if you said or not it's gegen you know so there is you know exactly you will have to say om okay let's give someone chance to read one more time anyone feels like reading this column just to practice yes yeah, swati you can read just read the right column admontag bismontag nakmontag gegen fiezenuva am montag um fiezenuva in der nacht in im anwar im er uh 2000 very good in their in their vergangenheit in their vergangen vergangenheit in zukunft von montag bis dienstag zwischen zwan halbe zwan 21 uhr zwischen no if, if you say if you say halb you don't have to say uhr so you just say halb 9 you okay. say uhr only when you are being very formal like you know 20 or 30 mm -hmm. okay zwischen halb uh, halb 9 uhr uh, halb 9 right halb 9 und um ze uh, halb halb zehn yeah. außer halb der arbeitsseiten inner halb der arbeitsseiten waren des kurses for zwei student thank you very much yeah swati you have a question uh yeah uh, for from monday to wednesday are you saying von montag bis mittwoch not dienstag uh where ah yeah it's wrong it's wrong yeah yeah thank you it's yeah okay yeah it's mittwoch and not dienstag yeah that's correct a uh, mistake you are right more questions i mean any if not we'll talk about you know so if you noticed i mean of course you should if you don't know this by now no problem we'll learn them uh let me just make this thing go away yeah it's went yeah so uh if you you know so uh you may be i don't know if you're asking or not i mean for example you know rishab said that you know like when a variant is a genitive right in a halb is also genitive aus a halb is also genitive uh right so all these prepositions you know they so when i say the preposition is genitive it, it simply means that when you use these prepositions after these prepositions you will have a noun and the noun will be in a specific case and there are four cases in german language nominative accusative dative genitive and this column is just telling you that up of whatever comes after up will be in accusative case whatever comes after bis will be in dative case nak after nak is also dative right so you just know that bis nak this one you know rishab said i don't know what he said this arm thing you see right okay before i go there uh so i mean this column just telling you like you know uh, what was the case for example von bis here whatever comes after von and whatever comes after bis will be in dative case okay same applies for zwischen and this one right and you have genitive as well uh yeah i think this row was not there before but okay no problem uh let's talk about one more thing okay so here ab montag let's say if i was using an article you know i, I was going you know on the monday again no one talks like in never said on the monday but let's say if you are using a monday article so the article for monday is montag is there and in accusative case there will become then okay right similarly if you see over here right you know i say am montag okay it's actually you know it's actually an and article for montag is you know then 
sorry, there becomes them in dative, right? So article is there, it becomes them in dative case. And you write an and them together in that, you write them together like this. So am is nothing but a short form of an them. Okay, that's why you have am over here. Similarly, right, you have in over here and you have im over here, right? So whatever comes after in will be in dative case. Yanuar, it, it's actually in them Yanuar, but you can write in them together as im, right? Now don't say, you know, can I write, you know, Nakt is feminine. So it's there, you know, the becomes there in dative. So don't say that, okay, now I'm going to write this together. It does not, no, there is no such thing as ear in German, okay? So you cannot, it's just not there. Don't ask me why. Maybe there is an answer. I don't know why, okay? So, you know, here you have done that, okay? Here as well, im zu kommt. Similarly, okay? Now, if you are, if your question is, you know, do I have to remember this, you know, like which one is accusative, which one is dative? My answer is no, okay? These things you just learn by practice, okay? You will hear people saying, am montag. You will hear people saying, you know, am, mon am montag, um. You know, you will hear people saying, you know, außer halb der Arbeitszeit. Okay, maybe this one you have to remember, okay? Außer halb, you know, it's genitive. So what I'm trying to say is that there is no need to mug up the third, I mean, table, maybe you need to mug up at least, you know. Also the table, you don't need to mug up. What is important is that now that you have seen it, start using it or listen when someone else is using it, okay. Whenever a conversation is going around some planning, you know, some meeting of a planning, anything, you know, so notice, you know, which prepositions they use, okay. So there is no need to mug up this table. If you do, it's fine. Just use these phrases as often as you can in your daily life. If you do that, that I think that should be enough. Okay. Any questions? I have to correct it here as well. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. I have said in the in their in their Fagangan height means yeah. in the past. Yeah. Then I said in their uh, Zukunft, uh, in the future. But you wrote im Zukunft, matlab in in them. It should yeah, be it's dative, right? Effect. It's dative. I think, yeah, I, maybe I, I think. Uh, it should yeah, be in there or in there. You said in them. Zukunft is there, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, but you read im, right? I am im. So yeah, im. Yeah, yeah. And what did you say? You said in them Zukunft. In in there Zukunft. Yeah, in there will be wrong, of course. Yeah, in there will be wrong. Perfect. Yeah, just check in now. I'm also confused whether Zukunft is, you know, masculine or feminine, but just check. Yeah, if it is feminine, it will be in there. If it's not feminine, it will be in. Okay, I think it's there. I think it's there for sure. I am 90% sure. Okay, it's in Zukunft. Yeah, more questions? Okay, please mute. Yeah, Vinay, you have a question? Please, Zukunft. It's the Zukum. Oh, perfect. Then that's correct it right now. In their Zukum. Yeah. That means, yeah. So in their Zukum. Any more corrections? Just one doubt. The Nak, Nak, Mon, Nak is always with the dad tube? Uh, Nak, Nak is, is always, yeah. The... I mean, I, I will never say always. I will say almost always. Yeah. Oh, okay. Almost okay. always. Nak, Monta. Yeah. The knack is also used in other scenarios. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's also, for example, let's say, you know, let's say, you know, let, let's say I'm walking down the stairs and I open the door and I say, like, you know, I'll say after, you know, knock dia. You know, I will not say knock yeah. dish, I will say knock dia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, also, you can also use it, you know, for example, to look for something, zukha knock, ish zukha knock, whatever that will be, whatever you're looking for will be inductive case. Okay. Vina, you have a question. You have raised your hand. You have a question. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, uh, especially for this first one, Abmontag. Uh, I mean, normally we have the cases uh, fixed with some prepositions. But uh, for Ab, uh, why is this accusative? I could not recollect. For other uh, prepositions, I can uh, recollect a case why uh, it's a dative one. Ab, is there any rational why we have this? Uh... I really have no. I don't. I don't have it. I mean, maybe there is a reason. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. Yeah, maybe there is a reason, you know, like, like if there is someone who, I mean, of course, there will be a reason, you know, if you talk to a professor, they will tell you, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. It's just, you know, with practice, for example, you know, Santosh said, right, you know, like, is NAC always uh, dative? Yes, you know, my answer, my instinct says yes, because 
I have never seen a case where after knock something goes aku zaku. Yeah. yeah. More questions. Yeah, it, it, it is called temporale because it's all with respect to yeah. time, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, 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 temporal. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I forgot to talk about the heading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are called as temporale prepositions and yes. but no one will ask you this you know what are these called yeah i just ask because there are many other propositions you know uh, <laughs> which is i mean yeah there are many other propositions compared to that this all with respect to time right yeah 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 which yeah maybe there will be other yeah 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 i mean uh, not with respect to time but i mean there are other propositions like um, i don't know auser yeah uh, auser was oh, already covered that here okay Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, no, I get the logic that you are saying. You know, like you are saying, like it's good to know. You know, at least when you are learning. Yeah. I mean, there is no harm in remembering that these are called as temporal. What is important is okay. There is no harm in remembering that. You know, what these are called as temporal prepositions. And what is important is that you start using them in daily life. You know, so that's what is important. You know, let's say if you say instead of in their not, if you say in them not, it's fine. You know, as long as you used it, that's fine. maybe the next time when you say it correct it the first you have to say it 